What is up guys? Welcome to Mobile Raceway. As you can see the ride is terrible. We managed to get a little um, Right now we can't go out anymore because it's cursing with rain. But uh, it's been a great day so far. We've done a lot of good testing and we've achieved a lot. So I'm very happy with the way the cars turned out. Let's check it out.
out again, but um, like I said, it's the single brain. It's really, really down hard. So we are leaving the circuit. I'm leaving the circuit. It's been a bit of a funny day. We've tried to, I've tried to record as much as I can, and um, I got quite a lot done. But <laughs> as always with these things, there almost is never enough time to to do everything. You know, between testing the cars and and um, and recording. So yeah, it's been a great session. Been very um, very productive. Did a lot of uh, did a lot of laps in in, in the polo. Just get a lot of heat cycles through the engine. Go through, yeah. You know, diagnose a couple of small little issues. Um, like I say, that's always the case with these things. A couple of loose bolts here and there. That's it. And um, <clears throat> but unfortunately, the rain got us. So we did a bit of driving in the rain when it was still light. But it got to a point where it was. Uh, it wasn't really worth the worth the time, you know. So, so the owner of the vehicle is going to do another two or three uh, track days where he just does laps and runs the vehicle in. And then uh, from there we're going to do uh, we'll drain the oil and then we'll do a couple of other uh, things. One of the things is going to be um, installing an oil cooler. We're also going to install a new oil pump just for safety's sake. The oil pump that's in there. Um, we seem to be getting like inconsistent readings with the oil pressure. So when you start it and run it, it's fine. Uh, when the oil gets hotter, then um, it tends to drop a little bit. I'm not comfortable with that. So um, yeah, just going to replace the oil oil pump just for safety's sake. You know, because because it's a new build, um, the oil pump was there was no, absolutely nothing wrong with it, but rather. You know, for the for the cost of the actual pump, it just makes sense to replace it. So um, I'm going to do that. We'll do that once once we feel the engine's uh, done enough mileage, really, to change oil, and then obviously oil cooler. So we'll do it all. Oil cooler, change oil. But um, otherwise, it was a very good session. The car needs a proper setup. The car's actually from when it last raced to the current. Uh, rules in full carbon challenge at the moment. They've had a tire change and they've gone from a, like a sport road tire to a semi stick. So obviously with the semi stick the um, setup is a lot different. Um, so i.e. the springs are the springs are different, the valving in the shock is different and then there's a couple of other things um, that it affects. So uh, we have to do a complete uh, reset on the on the setup on the suspension, but we'll we're gonna cross that bridge when we get there. I think for now, what we're going to do is just focus on getting the car run in and getting the oil cooler installed and getting it reliable. That we know um, you can go and do 50 laps and not gonna have any issues. Um, the motor itself is very good. It feels feels very strong uh, which is exactly the design of the, the build it's strong where it needs to be strong and um, it feels it feels right exactly how I designed it to be and so I'm very happy with it I'm very excited for the car because it's gone through a few hands and it's been a bit neglected but we, we're sorting out a lot of those small issues and we so it's come a long way and I think it's going to be a really really good car when it's when it's done, which is actually not too far off. The owner is very happy with it so far. And yeah, thank you for watching. It's been an amazing uh, series. It's not really done yet, but we're going to start to move. Look forward to some new um, projects. So we have something in the pipeline, which is going to be revealed soon. We were also busy with that today. Um, I'm very very super excited for this this build. It's going to be a cracker. The base car we're starting with is <laughs> unique. <laughs> I think unique is a good term for it because it's uh, it's not something everybody does, not in this country at least. 
but uh, it's a very good base for a project car so very super excited for that um, so thank you very much for watching um, it is bucketing down I'm just trying to figure out the wipers on this car so anyway thank you very much for watching it's been a funny episode funny ending to the series not really how I'd hoped and like I said we're trying to improve these videos every time we publish them but it's uh, it's always it's always a trick uh, well not a trick it just takes a lot of time and effort setting everything up the planning the editing the filming everything takes a lot of time and planning so it's tricky to get it all right so but uh, thank you for coming on this journey with us and we really appreciate it I appreciate it and please join us uh, as we go forward and um, if you like this hit the like button subscribe who knows you know let's see let's see where we can take this i'm very very excited for it and we got some mad builds coming planned for the future the next one's going to be a cracker super stoked for that but anyway thank you very much for watching see you guys soon cheers Brother, it's caught in the crossfire.